Lawrence rammed as Facebook authorities in Florida cracked the mystery behind what caused a fisherman to be killed in a barrage of bullets on the outskirts of the Everglades this year, blaming two men shooting a gun nearby for target practice. Lawrence Ramdas, 46, was fatally shot in the chest while fishing from a boat in the Holy Land Wildlife Management Area in Palm Beach County in July. The shots, about 15 in all, were fired from a .45 caliber gun used for target practice by two men who were about on a third of a mile away, officials from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office told the Sun Sentinel. The two men will not be charged, authorities said. Investigators found no criminal intent and this appears to be a tragic accident, Sheriff spokesman Terry Barbera told the newspaper. PBSO detectives met with members of the Palm Beach County State Attorney's Office and all agreed that there is no probable cause for an arrest at this time. The shooters, identified as Ricardo Galvan and Christian Salcedo, couldn't see Ramdas in the area, which is known to a hotbed for illegal target shooting in Palm Beach County, and detectives aren't sure which one fired the round that killed Ramdas, who was fishing with his uncle and another man. Both Galvan and Salcedo could not be reached for comment, the Sun Sentinel reports. But Ramdas' sister, Sandy Stallone, said she was disappointed that no charges will be filed in her brother's death. It wasnt hunting season, and they should nt be firing a weapon in the first place, she told the newspaper. There are signs out there saying it's illegal to shoot. Anyone that fires a weapon, you are responsible for your actions, accident or no accident. I'm disappointed with our system. What example does this set for us? Investigators said in July that the shooting may have been accidental, but refused to indicate why they believed that and also did not disclose how many times Ramdas was hit. His cousin, Benetta Harnarin, told CBS Miami that witnesses recalled hearing more than a dozen rounds fired in less than a minute, one of which struck Ramdas. You don't go out in the wild and fire shots and fire shots out of your sight where you don't see what you're shooting or out or who is behind a bush someplace or a corner that you can't see, Harnarin told the station in July. The pain of losing Ramdas has been so unbearable for his mother that she doesn't want to live anymore, Harnarin said. After detectives tracked down Galvan using a police sketch and a fingerprint retrieved from the scene, he voluntarily submitted the gun for testing, according to the sheriff's office. Both Galvan and Salcedo cooperated with investigators and admitted taking turns shooting the gun that afternoon, with tests later confirming that, authorities said. The victim's position was concealed from the target range by the target berm and a large amount of brush and tall grass, Barbera told the Sun Sentinel. Galvan and Salcedo expected that no one would, or even could be behind the berm that they were shooting at. Although Galvan and Salcedo were cooperative, it cannot be determined who fired the fatal shot that struck and killed Lawrence.